three card uh, oracle uh, with dyed across finish. So three questions. Ask three questions. Get three answers. Yes, no, or maybe. And then for each of those three, I'll do a dyed across. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this will be easy. You have questions and I have answers. So the cards will be uh, three of them. You pick the one that you want to answer your question and uh, they'll be yes, no, or maybe. And then uh, I'll also, then after I choose that and let you know what that is, then we'll do a diet across six card draw on each of those uh, three cards. So see how it goes. Of course, the thing is, the more involved you are, the better it is. I mean, so if you could just center yourself right now, right now, and kind of get your um, whatever your issue is, kind of just really consider it and put it out there. And then um, it's a good time right now too, just to stop the video and go get a glass of water or a cup of tea or whatever you know makes you uh, calm and uh, get that ready. Come back, sit down, arrange yourself, and then let's do the uh, draw. And um, yeah, and we can talk about the cards. So this is Llewellyn's classic tarot. A uh, book by Barbara Moore and illustrations by Eugene Smith. Love the box that this comes in. It's got that neat uh, magnetic clasp on there that I'm just a sucker for. The book is very good. I mean, it's a full color book. It's got very good um, suggestions for how you can use these cards in the divination. And then it talks a little bit in here also about uh, Barbara Moore, Eugene Smith. So I, I like the book. The cards, I mean, everything about this works. You can, you've got a little ribbon. If you pull the book out, it then it double, does double duty to help get the cards out. And let me show you those. Now, if I understand correctly, the idea that Llewellyn had is that this is the Rider Waite system, but it is a clearer, uh, less cluttered um, uh, images for the uh, divination uh, of the cards. So that's apparently was his uh, remit to um, the uh, illustrator or the artist, uh, Eugene Smith. I'll let you spread them out like this so you can get a chance to you know, just look at the cards. If you don't look at cards a lot, or maybe you're thinking about buying some cards and you're thinking about these, and you run across this, and this gives you an idea if you'd like to have them. I don't know. I just like to spread them out this way. It's an alternative way of shuffling them. And it works really well if you're doing a reading and you have someone who might not feel comfortable shuffling the cards, but at least you can kind of get their energy uh, into the uh, cards this way. So this is classic tarot, and I like them a lot. Okay, here we go. Just a second of reflection before we start. So this is going to be a three card oracle, which means I'll um, lay out three cards face down. You're going to pick one, two, or three, or a couple of them, or all of them, for whatever question or questions you have. And uh, there'll be yes, no, or maybe uh, answers when I turn them over. And of course, we'll uh, talk about the meaning of each card. And then, oops, after that, after, as soon as I pick up these cards that I dropped on the floor, We'll do diet across finish for each of those three cards. So the first thing I'll do, three card oracle for you today. So you really want to set your mind with the question that you've got and consider your choice, one, two, or three. And uh, you may change it at the last minute. You may want to add one of those to the mix. We'll pull out three cards, one, Two. Okay, and number three. These will rest for a minute. One, two, three. Actually, it's the other way. One is over here. One, two, three. You can stop the tape if you uh, if you feel like you need to. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. And we're going to leave these two face down. But the first one, if that's what you chose for your question, yes, nor maybe. 
okay, this is the moon. This is secrets being revealed. I'd say this is a this is a yes, and this is a cautious uh, yes. Um, you know, things may be coming out that um, that you had planned on, uh, but yeah, this is a, an affirmative uh, answer. So I'm going to jot down over here so I remember what I said that this is a yes. Number one card. Now number two card, if that's what you chose. All right. Um, this is the page of pentacles. You know, pentacles are value. They're worth. Uh, they can be money. And uh, but the page is the uh, least um, powerful of the court cards. You know, he's just a messenger. So uh, he brings this to the court and says, "What do you want to do with this valuable whatever it is that I have here?" And so, uh, so this is the beginning. This is a yes card, but this is the beginning of some maybe a, a nugget of value, uh, and and that's the reason it is, it is a yes. Okay, so it's two yes cards, and then the third card, that's the one you chose. Okay, Six of Cups. This is also an affirmative, but, you know, this is a reflective almost. I mean, I almost want to say it's a no, but I'll tell you why I think it's an affirmative. So I think it might could be a no because, you know, thinking about the way things used to be is kind of like not wanting to go forward and uh, and, and not going forward in the issue. So, but, you know, often when we think of things the way they used to be, it's actually uh, a hazier or a different, or it can be even a worse image than what it really was. So uh, the reason I say this is a yes is because once we uh, recognize uh, what the difference was uh, in the past, then that uh, lets us say we can move forward. So I say this is a very thoughtful, a very considered uh, yes right here. Okay. So now we'll define each of these a little bit more with an Atlantic cross for your question or your issue. Let's see. Really kind of clumsy today with the cards. Probably should have shuffled these a bit more before I got started. I kind of just took them right out of the box and jumped into this because I felt very strongly to use these cards today and I could have taken some time with them. But anyway, so the moon secrets being revealed, that's the signifier to this six card diet at cross. Uh, secrets uh, being revealed. What's the challenge to that? The challenge to those secrets, ten of wands, wands are actions, plans, uh, moving something forward. And usually, uh, you know, the ten of wands is kind of a, a, a heavy load to carry. And these do look a bit awkward, but this fellow's doing a good job of it. Not to say he's not concentrating and he's not trying to get this done as quickly as possible with these nice big strides, which is also can make something a bit difficult when you hurry along, especially when you're carrying something uh, like this. A couple of these ones are even coming to fruition with blossoms on the end. So, yeah. There's some urgency, there's a bundle, there's some uh, challenge here um, that uh, maybe uh, wants to pass before all these secrets come out. In the uh, base of this reading is the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is uh, great. I mean, Cups are just like this water. He's submerged in water here. He's um, uh, Cups are emotion, passion, and consideration. And uh, they can be surprises. Uh, you, it's good to have a, a steady plan. So this King of Emotion, um, so this was this was maybe you know very personal at some point perhaps uh in the past of this reading is the ace of pentacles so this is that great big offer of, of wealth you know this is the, the things that listen this has value um it's right here in front of your eyes okay shining a uh, light on those secrets in the sky of this the hope for is a king of pentacles so really recognizing that worth and taking it for all it's uh, for all, you know everything you can get, and then the likely outcome of the whole thing, this yes question, uh, with some hesitation, with some some uh, with your ears open, okay, um, is uh, the two of swords, okay, making a move forward. Swords for me are truth, trust, truth, justice, rules, law. So yeah, and it, either way you go is fine because uh, all those are, are positive directions to go in. Just one uh, path may be a little longer, a little more difficult, or uh, so. But it's a yes card certainly. With a um, it's, it keeps that shadowy. Um, feel all the way through the read. Caution. You know, when it's dark, you want to make sure you're looking at where you're going very carefully. So for the next one, I'm going to incorporate these back into the deck, and then we'll talk about the number two card. If that's the one you chose. Put this one to the side. And right here we have a signifier for this dyadic cross is this page of pentacles. Pentacles being worth, value, sometimes actually money. You know, so this could be, you know, the beginnings of some sort of a financial situation. But more than likely, it's uh, just, you know, an idea of some value uh, here that's, um, you know, worth considering. So, but it's a yes card. It's saying, yeah, yeah, take a look. Check it out. The six cards for the diet across to flush that out a bit. You know, all these, uh, challenge to that is the five of swords so yeah ah so this is a, an abuse of power so yeah sometimes yeah when a good idea a good idea pops up someone else may be trying to claim the um 
claim the the credit. Uh, in the base of this reading, then we have the Knight of Swords. So the Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, Law, Knight of Swords. He's going to fight. I mean, that's his job. Take that uh, truth or whatever it is that he's carrying in that sword and uh, make something happen with it. And he's off and going. So this may be very uh, passion felt. This situation. Uh, the past of this reading is this page of cups, another page, so another beginning, another idea, but this is compassionate. So this value may have come from some compassionate surprise uh, that uh, has just occurred or happened in the past recently. Um, and the sky of this, then, is the uh, that ace of swords. I love seeing that. So truth, justice, rules, law. You can't go wrong if you're aiming for just the best intentions possible. For me, this is almost the anti, uh, the devil card. And then the... Um, Likely I'll cover all this for this yes question is strength. Yeah. So it's a good, strong, solid, you know, sometimes the just a little um, uh, murmur in your heart becomes something of value that uh, can really um, make a big difference. So, yeah. Yep. Pay attention. Now, I'll put these back into the deck and go after the last uh, card, number three. That's the one you chose. And this will be the six of cups. So kind of remembering the way things were. It's a yes card, um, recognizing the past, okay? Recognizing the history that comes with this um, and uh, seeing it uh, clearly, uh, either as it was beautiful or yeah, if it wasn't, recognizing that too. So what is the challenge to this? Okay, the challenge to that signifier then is going to be this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, really strong uh, sense of value. So, yeah, that's good. So we can... Um Oh, let's see. Well, it reads in a, in, a, in a line to me, almost like a sentence. So, yeah, we could remember and understand what the past was and uh, even, you know, strengthen our, our, our worth. Uh, the base of this reading... Right here, ah, five of wands, argy bargy, uh, plans, actions. Um, but these these folks are engaging in a silly, uh, not a, not a, a lethal, but a, an uncomfortable, uh, you know, melange. So no, this is this is um, pointless uh, bickering. Uh, the past of this, but that could be a basis of some of this this reflection. Uh, the past of this is starting out on that new journey. Um, so yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Interesting. And then the sky of this reading is, uh, oh, look at that, another ace, or maybe ace of plans. Of, you know, get yourself in gear. Okay, understand uh, where this needs to go. And then the um, final card here, oh, the Hierophant. So the ultimate in, in rules, in uh, uh, judgment, in a system that this may have to abide by. Remember, this is not part of this reading. Um, so, yeah, that's um, that reflection can lead to something pretty important. Uh, so... That's where we're at. So those are the three cards. I hope some of that was useful for you. And um, thank you so very, very, very much for watching. Yeah, I've been calling these types of videos oracles or you picks, but you know what? It's just ask a question. So I think that's how we'll refer to it from now on. So I hope it worked out for you. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.